Has there been any word of her? None yet. I do not understand why she displays such disobedience. You know why. She bears the face of her mother. She shames us all. She has always brought shame upon us. In terms of combat, she is the least among us. Her stance always had too much passion about it. Perhaps it is better that our sister chose exile rather than having it forced upon her. Another visitor? You must be here to join in the plunder of the old Jedi Enclave. You have to see Administrator Adari first. You're one of the salvagers, right? Your ship looks banged up enough to be part of that lot. But you look different. Then who are you? The only recent visitors we've had on Dentuin have been salvagers and a slew of mercenaries. Just to see the sights, right? You're just another salvager. Go see Administrator Adari in Kunda if you want to get into the ruins. Have you ever sliced a Jedi security door? The old ruins are secure from salvagers unless they get permission from Adari. She was the Agricultural Administrator of Dantooine. After the Sith attack, she kept us together. Without her, the only thing you'd see around here are mercenaries. We had problems with Mandalorian mercenaries even before the Jedi Civil War. The Jedi helped clear most of the problem up, but after the war, many soldiers from both sides of the conflict became mercenaries. And since we're so far from the core, some started gathering here. Kunda is the big building just outside the landing port. It used to be the estate of a man named Matali, but he and his family disappeared around the time of the bombardment. The administrator rebuilt it, and now this is our center of government. I know it doesn't look like much, but there aren't many settlers that live on this planet. This building is the start of something new for us. We're very proud of it. We're working on it. Is there anything else you'd want to talk about? Just head into the building and you'll find your way to the administrator. I'll be over by the entrance if you need anything else. What do you want? I don't have time for cursed salvagers. Well, you don't look like a damn mercenary, and you don't smell like a stinging farmer. Why else would you be here? If you're not a salvager, then I don't even want to know why you'd go to the Enclave. Nothing but rumor. They say the spirits of the angry dead haunt the ruins. On a quiet night, you can hear the ghosts howling and scraping around. Oh, you know, the folks around Kunda. Go there yourself and get the details firsthand. You'll find the Kunda outpost just outside the landing port. Is this gonna take long? I'm busy, you know. Can't you tell? I'm a mechanic. In fact, I'm the only mechanic here in Kunda. I'm responsible for maintaining everything mechanical or electrical at the Kunda outpost. Yeah. 
Do you actually believe a Jedi would return here? After all they've done to us? They wouldn't dare. They certainly would. You remember how they were. Always so superior, so arrogant, and never lending a hand when we really needed them. I still don't believe it. You should. My cousin's friend, he used to tend the gardens around the Enclave. He swears he saw a Jedi in Kunda. Could be hiding anywhere. 
Well, I hope it's true. I hear there's a bounty on them, and we could certainly use the money. Unless somebody beats you to it. Welcome to Kunda. You're a salvager, right? You'll need to see Administrator Adare to get access to the ruins. If you need directions to anything else, just ask. Her office is directly behind this room. You really can't miss it. She can see you now, if you like. The salvagers keep coming here and bothering the- Your luck is not of the hapless settler. You are the newcomer that lands in a battered ship, yes. No friendly greetings are here for you. Many of the weak are skilled in manners, but I am not weak. Do not seek to insult me again. I am done being inconvenienced by you. What brings you to Kunda? Do you have any troubles to report? I'm here to help. I just hope you aren't here about Garavik. Well, call me a defective protocol droid. Uh, manners, right. I'm Barun Modril. I'm Captain Zeron's right-hand man. I help run the militia here. Well, that makes it sound more important than I am. Zeron takes a hands-on role in running the militia. If you have any real trouble, you'd have to go to him anyway. Uh, this is... sensitive. It's not really a secret, though. A lot of people are upset with Zeron. He's a hard man and doesn't answer to anybody. Except, I suppose, the administrator. The thing is, he expects everyone to follow all the laws. That's not normally a bad thing. But the mercenaries are used to having a bit more freedom. So, it's like Zeron keeps prodding a ranker with a stun stick. To a ranker, it's just a minor nuisance. But if you keep at it, he's gonna fight back. The mercenaries aren't unreasonable. They're mostly just war veterans looking for work. But Zeron just keeps poking them. So he has to get involved to make sure that the militia does what he wants. Otherwise, we'd probably give the mercenaries some room. It's tricky. You see, I think Zeron may be taking this whole thing a little personal. I I'm not sure. Just a guess. I also think he's doing more to provoke them than just investigating every complaint against them hard. He's up to something. If someone could just ask a few questions, turn up some answers, maybe see if Zeron isn't being completely honest with the rest of us, well then maybe he should be replaced. Just look around. See if Zeron's up to something on the side. Something that'll hurt the fragile peace we got with the mercenaries. So if you happen to find something out like that, you should see Administrator Adare. If you have to do some footwork to check into things, you'll be compensated. We should probably talk about something else. I hate going behind the captain's back. I just feel... Uh, I just have a feeling about it. I don't even want to get into it. Ask around if you want to know the details. It'll just make my headache worse if I talk about it. I don't know what we'd do without Administrator Adare. She managed to plow through a lot of the family bickering once the Sith left during the war. She's kept us together. Oh, and, uh, Zeron too, I suppose. All right, stay out of trouble now.
Tino Molirani Bonon Kin Un Pasa Susho We Kana Ina Doka Chess Kapato Rondi Loso Chi Rana Dick Pick Now G Kachi A Ubang Hoshmanfu Niwado de Kuta Masapa Tongi Wama G Doki Nikama Renzo Ni Inash D John Bla when so the Wanga Nochi Ronren Manama Kochpa Ino Shan Opera Chau du so jamara, chur hep do nich, dok shati, rengotish, bogra chiun kuba, kratok wikili jane. Captain here, are you here because you're in trouble or looking for it? I see. Well, what's your reason for coming to militia headquarters? Hmm. There are better places to explore and better people to know. I'm sure you have your reasons, though. I'm sure you got questions of your own. And if you're interested, I might have some work for you. You want something? I've seen a lot of visitors come through Kunda. You're the first one in a while that looks the capable sort. We have a small problem with Kinrath. Maybe you've already seen some of them. They're coming from a cave in the Kunda Plains. I'd take care of it myself, but there aren't many people in the militia. We'd lose too many men. There's a reward if you do it. Two thousand credits. Kinrath are normally just pests. We think something happened to their nest. Started near the end of the Civil War. Nobody knows for sure. Even the Athorian. And they're smart about such things. We used some explosives to seal the cave a couple years back. Just made them angrier. They burrowed another entrance even closer to us. I know there are crystals in there too. Some of the salvagers once thought about going in there to get some extra credits. Too many Kinrath, though. Cave is on the southeast side of the plains. Shouldn't be hard to find. That's all I can ask. You want something? You 
really should talk to Barun about general questions. I don't have anything to say about that. She's smart. She gets things done. The whole place would fall apart without her. Dan Tween isn't the center of much of anything. Our most talented people sometimes leave. Hard for someone to stay a farmer when they have the itch to do something greater. So we're lucky the administrator never went elsewhere. I bet she'd make a decent senator, even. There aren't more than a dozen of us, and there's too many problems. People keep hoping that the Republic sends help. But we gotta help ourselves. Hello there. You haven't had any new troubles, I hope. All right. A visitor. Please, come in. Welcome to Kunda. I am Administrator Turina Adari. You're the owner of the, um, ship that just landed? Depending on your business here, the pleasure may be mutual, but you didn't answer my question. Is that ship yours? I meant no disrespect at all. It is, in fact, a remarkable vessel. And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel has been on Dantooine before, during the war. That was a Jedi vessel. Of course not. I'm trying to stabilize an entire planet. An exchange bounty, no matter how abundant, is little use in that endeavor. But if a Jedi were here, that would best be kept secret. Right or wrong, our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. My friend. Let's just call him Frook. We've known each other for many years, and our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantooine not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing recently. Did he send for you in case something went wrong? Vrook and I had a mutually beneficial arrangement for several weeks. He went to the Jedi Enclave sublevel recently and hasn't returned. I know the sublevel is dangerous. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? We are fortunate that you've come. Don't expect it to be easy, though. Things rarely are with Jedi. I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave's security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can assist you with? I have no doubt that Baroon means well, but I have every confidence in Zaron. I would ask you to ignore anything Baroon asked of you. He doesn't see the full scope. What have you learned, Jedi?
shouldn't sneak up on an old fella like that. You shouldn't be out of here. This is Kinrath territory. A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. One of the western fringe farmers was coming to Kund on his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. We found him dead and his swoop bike all banged up. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. I do. The Kinrath are dangerous, but as long as you stay on your swoop bike, there's no way they should catch you. I've carefully searched this area and haven't found anything. So maybe our man just got sloppy. We really need those atmospheric sensors. I don't suppose you'd be willing to keep an eye out for something, hmm? It's technical. I doubt you'd understand it, but I'd really appreciate your help. I doubt you'll be able to find any evidence of what happened here, but you might come across the atmospheric sensors. They have to be somewhere. If you find any of them, just come back here. I'll pay you a thousand credits for each one you can find, even if they're broken. No idea whatsoever. I figure it's a real long shot you'd ever spot one, but I also figure it wouldn't hurt to ask. What a lord Chiba Fuso Bachila Nuba Chumanok. 
Yatuka, Uwanrika, Chotin, Wanim, Aurata, Wakata, Chiluma, Lithba. Huta Yanolia, Jukta Genichu Bawonki, Najung, we not on man, no mi Rita. Kavanata Gallo, Kavana mi donkey crato. Kavanata Gallo, Kavana mi donkey crato. Bram Tavani Sochu. Da come just mak Miki Baranye do so so rica chondin. Wana magrable mogo. Yatuka, u wan rica chotin, wani maurata wakata, chi luma lithpa. Bram Tabanin Sochu. Da come just mak Miki Baranye do so so rica chondin. Wana magrable mogo. Cavanata Gallo! Cavanami Donkey Crato! Yatuka, Uwan Rika, Chotin, Wani, Maurata, Wakata, Chilumali. Yatuka, Uwan Rika. Yatuka, Uwan Yatuka, Uwan Rika, Chotin, Wani, Maurata, Wakata, Chiluma, Lithba. Cavadumpa, mo wendido chokerembi norta kunyun wish chawa kachuba. Sura, dachi morutuko kansa. Yatuka, uwan rika chotin wani maurata wakata chi luma lithpa. Yatuka, uwan rika chotin wani maurata wakata chi luma lithpa. Bram tabanin sochu. Da come just mak miki baranye do so so rika chondin. Wana magrable mogo. Yatuka, uwan rika chotin wani maurata wakata chi luma lithpa. Yeah. <laughs> 
disturbed. I can feel them from a great distance, like a shiver running through you. Echoes. I feel echoes of the Force here. Force-sensitive locations such as this absorb and reflect Force energy. The crystals are the catalyst here. I sense that Revan once passed through here, leaving a strong impression behind in the crystals. Perhaps future Jedi who visit this cave will feel our presence, as if seeing our footprints preserved in the soil. The crystals here do not drain force energy from Jedi. They collect the excess energy that radiates from those attuned to the force.
crystals bond with you is such that the stronger you become in the force, the more powerful your crystal will grow. This crystal will make an excellent focus for a lightsaber. I don't suppose you found any of those atmospheric sensors. That's great news. My offer still stands. I'll pay you 3,000 credits for all of them.
Thanks for your help on this. Here are the credits, as promised. I'll get this to Zeron when I get back to Kunda. Thanks for helping out the militia. you again. Well, you know who I am. I figure you've got a reason for coming back. You want something? So you did. Here's the credits I told you about. Even with the caves cleared, I imagine it'll take some time before the Kinrath aren't on the plains. That was very helpful of you. You've saved some lives today. You want something? How may I serve? Something. How may I serve? <laughs> 